Hello children and to welcome back to Story Point. Hope you are all well. Be at your home and stay safe. Wash your hands regularly. Anyway, I think all of you have learned all the previous rhymes that I have given. So today, are you ready to learn 10 more rhymes? Yes. Practice with me so that you can understand and learn the actual pronunciation of each and every word. So let's start. First we are going to learn Johnny Johnny which is a nursery rhyme about a child named Johnny who is caught by his father eating sugar. Johnny Johnny Yes, Papa. Eating sugar? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouth? Ha, ha, ha. Did you like it? Yes. Next poem that uh, we are going to learn is Hot Cross Buns. Children, these cross buns are round and sweet buns. It's very delicious, which are very mainly served on the day of the Good Friday celebration in different countries to accompany the selling of buns. So let's learn this rhyme. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If you have no daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Third rhyme that we are going to learn today is Hey Diddle Diddle. Children, this is a six line nursery rhyme. The lines are almost similar in length. Here, you are going to learn some new words like diddle and fiddle. These words can act as rhyming words too. So let's learn the rhyme. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Did you like it? Yes. The next rhyme that we are going to read is London Bridge is Falling Down. Children, remember, this is one of the most popular English nursery rhyme. Children used to play a game using this rhyme as a song. Now let's learn that rhyme. London Bridge is Falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Build it up with iron bars. Children, remember it's not iron, it's iron. Build it up with iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Build it up with iron bars, my fair lady. Fifth rhyme that you will learn is Murray had a little lamb. This is a nice poem about the story of a girl who had a lovely pet. Here we can see the attachment between the girl and her pet, the lamb. So here is the rhyme for you. Murray had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Are you enjoying? Yes. Next we are going to recite, I am a little teapot. This is a short rhyme describing the heating and pouring of a teapot as well as whistling of the tea kettle. 
Let's memorize the poem. I am a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Did you enjoy? You will come to know some new words from this rhyme like stout, spout, steamed. Try to learn these spellings also. Let's move for the next rhyme. It's raining, it's pouring. This is a rhyme for fun and a way to learn about letter sounds and enjoy while reciting. It is talking about a man. A man means a head injury of an old man that is bumped his head while sleeping and could not get up in the morning. Now let us learn this rhyme. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and he couldn't get up in the morning. So sad. Next we are going to learn Jack and Jill. Here two children named Jack and Jill collecting water from a well. Suddenly an accident occurs and both of them fall down a slope. Let's learn the rhyme now. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. The rhyme that we are going to learn as number 9 is Little Miss Muffet. The girl in this poem presents a carefree childhood. She sits in a place to enjoy her delicious card. Then only a spider appears and steals her joy. Now let's see that beautiful and cute little girl. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her cards and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. So children, the last rhyme that we are going to learn today is Row, Row, Row Your Boat. This is one of the action nursery rhyme where a boy is rowing the boat gently down the stream. Children really love to enact on this rhyme. So learn this rhyme properly so that you can also enact on it. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is just a dream. My beautiful kids, that's all for today. Learn all these rhymes properly. As well as memorize the spellings too. Wait for my next video for something different. If you like this video, please like, share or comment and subscribe so that you get all updates of my channel. Thank you.